Here is one of my favorite photos from my cousin's wedding. My brother is in blue, my cousins are wearing black. And there's my grilled cheese. Kiss me. I'm gonna do some laundry. But this was his epiphany that he came up with, so therefore I will give him full credit. The dry bags that we brought. My laundry right now. Put it in the dry bag. Fill the dry bag with water and soap. Wind it down with air. Shake it up. I'll show you. Really smart. We should have thought of this the first time. But doing laundry in the shower works very well too. One little leak in this. <laughs> cool, now I'll put soap in there. This is fun. It's just a process, right? Whoa, okay, that's a lot of soap. That's okay. That's I then okay. proceeded to add more soap. Ah, stop pouring. <laughs> Gotta figure out a better way to put that in the bag, but cool. I'm gonna mix this up. And can not an actual clip anymore to clip it, but that's okay. Interesting. Okay. I can do this because it's hot. I guess this is doing a pretty good job. So coming out of that bowl, that's okay. I think it's actually drinking pretty well. Excited to see the water and then I'm gonna rinse it again. Pour this dirty water out. And a little bit more water. Ooh, that's bad. Gross. Cool, you can actually see the color. Dirty. Dirty laundry. Ugh. Oh, why is it so bad? I'm gonna have to do this so much. Jeez. Handy towel. Rinse it too. Oh, heavy. I'm the laundry machine. Which is easier? Doing it in the shower or doing it in a dry bag? I mean, I don't know. I just don't love this soap, so I'm probably going to shower afterwards anyway, but it does a really pretty good job. I mean, the water's pretty dirty. This was the second rinse, so the water was not too soapy for the plants, just so you know. That's pretty good. It's a lot better than it was, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Someone stepped in this when it was wet. <laughs> This is more or less the checklist that you have to complete in order to get your dive master. Yeah, right? And then you have it. This is a rough map of a dive site, according to Jordan, who runs pretty much the whole front desk. Fuck bugs! Ah, fuck bugs! Are they all dead? Signed up for a few fun dives, as you can see. This is the Halle Burton Wreck dive site, and while it's not my favorite dive that I've done, it's still really cool. We got to do this swim through once we went all the way around, so that was kind of interesting, but I just prefer the coral reefs, and I don't know, there was not much around the wreck. That's my dive buddy, Valentina. She was really nice. Dive computer clocked it at about 26 minutes. Most dives are closer to an hour. This was me just snapping a photo of the local reef creatures and also all the dive sites around the island of Utila. This is the first remora, aka suckerfish, that I've seen. And while it looks beautiful, it's the thing that attaches itself to boats and whales and sharks. We won't be here for too much longer. Today is Thursday. We will leave Saturday. Our downstairs neighbor likes gardenia. The neighbor will take care of you. She likes you a lot. You know that. She's getting her dive master, so I know she'll be around for a little while. You've improved so much. Your nose has gotten so much better. Her nose has improved a lot since the first day we arrived. You've gotten so much better. I think I may have made her a little fatter, too. Yeah, you like that, huh? You don't let me brush your belly very much, but I know you like it. Yeah. Well, I didn't brush her every day, I did try, and I think she really enjoyed it. She's become one of my better companions on this trip, and I definitely looked forward to seeing her every day. I still have a lot of treats left because I tend to take each one and break it into smaller pieces for the animals. And the first time I tried to give Gardenia a treat, it was much too big for her. Found these three things yesterday. Two more of these and a crab head. Kind of broke it when I grabbed it, but it's pretty big, so. I can probably use it for something. Two of those. I did stumble upon this treasure on one of my last dives. Black Hills was the final dive site that I dove in Utila, 
and it was by far one of the best dives that I've done. I saw a juvenile drumfish. I've barely even seen an adult one. He got a little defensive. This makes either two or three drumfish that I've seen total. There was a puffer fish, which is one of my favorites aside from the tobies, which are also puffer fish. I scared him and he dropped his food that he was going for. The top and bottom fins, I just love that. I think it's so cool. And their big eyes. Along with the abundant life, there was an eel. He was looking for a place to burrow and trying to find a crevice to hide. I just kept my distance, but he was so big and green and beautiful. Black Hills is one of the further out dive sites on the south side of the island, so there isn't exactly a reef face, so not a lot of places for him to hide. He found this rock, but as you can see, Black Hills is on the bottom right, and it's not exactly close to the coast. I got to see an adult cowfish, and I was able to get close enough so that I could really capture his geometric patterns. They're so cool, they have all these hexagons once they get full grown. They're called cowfish because of the little horns on their head. He was so docile, he just let me swim right alongside. Just did the last two fun dives I'll probably be doing in Utila for a little while. I leave Saturday morning for a Roatan, and today is what? Thursday, so I don't think I'm gonna dive tomorrow when we head out on the ferry in the morning. But I had a couple of great dives with Clem. It seems to always be good dives with Clem. I've seen a lot of great stuff when I've dove with Clem and found a lot of cool things too. Yeah, I'll show you those. Whole bunch of crab heads. Super ecstatic about those. I'll take them all out. Look at that. Maybe a shell that looks like a sunrise shell, but I had I've said it before, I will say it again. No, I don't think you should take things from the ocean unless it's like sea glass or like bones or skeletons, things that aren't like, I don't know, things that aren't gonna be missed. Like debris is good. Um, one thing that I do keep an eye out for and collect is crab heads. Cause if you keep an eye out, they're actually everywhere. I found a, quite a few big crab heads. So I have, like four let me show you look at those bad boys this is the biggest crab head i've found and i don't feel like it really you know they're just gonna get crushed anyways this one's beautiful it's a little broken this one was is the biggest one i found I'm so careful when picking these these things up they're so fragile look at that bad boy beautiful oh, look at that and this is the one i wanted to show you see, it still has its little bees. Look at that, it's like, wow. Wow. I usually put those in resin, usually, like once. I'm gonna figure out something to do, like little pendants or something, cause they're so cool. They break, they get broken in the ocean, are buried in sand, but it's not like an animal eats these. This is the cat that lives outside of the Utila Power Company and directly up the stairs. We've developed a liking for each other. What are you gonna do, huh? Now I can't go anywhere. Now I can't go anywhere. Riley, can't go. Sorry. I was a cat. Look at the cat. I can't do anything. That's it. Come here. That's it. Oh, I will give you something. Of course I will. You're very big and beautiful. Any underwater vision cat? One of the three, right? One of the three, right? See, this is what we do, right? Feeds one cat, feeds another cat. There you go. It's good, huh? You're okay. Is this part of my purpose to feed you guys here? Apparently. Apparently. On to the UDC to say bye to Killer. He's the cat I fed least this trip because he's diabetic. Dear big cat, there's no patience when it comes to you and food, huh? When it comes to you and food, I haven't done it a lot. So I was told you're a beast. diabetic, actually. But as you can tell, Killer loves food, and I wasn't gonna not give him some on the last day that I was there. Don't push it off. I was looking for cow milk. <laughs> Killer is one of the two cats at the Utila Dive Center. I was looking for cat one, who is missing an eye, actually. What is it, buddy? You just had. Don't act like you didn't have. Say, I'm the UDC cat. Yes, you are. You're a good kitty. Where's cat one? That's you. Do you see yourself? Oh, okay. Do you see yourself? That's you. That's Killer. 
What do you see? What are you checking? What's going on down there? Look at your face. What's going on? Who's that? Who's that, Riley? That's Duncan and Camilla, right? Right. I found a good spot to sit by the bridge that sits on Main Street. It's down towards the Utility Dive Center. Found a good spot yesterday, maybe the day before. Second to last morning here in Utila. I'm sad too, but it's been a pretty good trip. So can't complain there. And I know we'll be back by the water before too long. So I'm just trying to enjoy the morning. And the time that there is a really good spot. It's like right at the, beneath. This is the sidewalk, so nobody really can see me. Another spot like it over there. I see Duncan. Yeah. I was waiting for Riley. He was Maybe supposed then. to take the boat today, but he decided yes, to walk. Uh, Clem, Duncan, the other person Riley did his MSBT with. I did make a lanyard for Clem. So maybe I should go back to UBC. Probably will, I guess. Okay. Out to self, the trash truck just went by and knocked down the power line a little bit. So. Mm -mm. It's actually really not safe. You see it right there? It's pretty low. I don't really know what to do about that. I'm waiting for somebody to go by and hoping they don't hit it. So there's a tuk tuk. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna hit it. Oh, jeez, jeez. Ah, oh, there's nothing I can like. I don't. Okay, the tuk-tuk driver's turning around. What's he gonna do? He's gonna try and fix it, maybe. He actually just went back that way, so maybe he's going to tell somebody? I don't know. I'm gonna go find Clem and give him that lanyard I made. No pirate cat. I'm glad I came back by the UDC because I was able to see Cat One and give him some treats. Oh, I've been looking business. for you for days, oh, Cat One. Oh, I've been looking for you for days and days and days and days right here. I realized most of what I make is just cat ASMR. I'm the best. We were gonna dive with the BICD, but I'm glad we switched over to the UDC. It was worth it. They have really friendly people, and their dives were a lot of fun. We stopped by the ferry office to make sure our tickets were still good for the morning. We took one final drive around the island. Not all the beaches look like this, but it's worth sharing that we should try and do better. We went to Mango Tango for dinner. Look at your face, your mask tan. I love it. It's kind of noticeable. <laughs> Had a lot of fun with their blue orb light. We were being immature. I don't know. <laughs> that looks really good. Didn't mean to blind you. We had some companions for dinner. That's cute. That's cute. Oh no. Turf war. I have nothing. You're a good kitty. All of the Mango Tango cats got my leftovers. Oh, you're so fucking pretty. You're beautiful. Look at that painting. Bye, Scooter. Sorry I beat the shit out of you. And thanks for taking care of me. That's my bad. I didn't. That's my bad. This is also my bad. And. And I, I might have. That's fixable. They had a zip tie on that already. I don't feel so bad. Hello. I couldn't leave without saying bye. There were some cats I still needed to say Here bye to. Me and the Coraline cat. Couldn't find you last night. Couldn't find you last night. I knew what I had to do. I had to find you this morning. Give you treats, right? Sweet cat. Sweet cat. You're so good. You're a good kitty. You're one of my favorites. I look for you every day. When I go by, I look for you. Yes, I do. You're so good. Thank you for being out. You weren't out last night. Look at you. You're wonderful. Handsome. I might come back your way, but if I don't, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> I carried on my walk down the strip. You were just on the table. You recognize me? You want a treat? I'll happily give you a treat, sweetie. I was looking for you. There's a few cats I haven't said bye to. You're one of them. Come here, come here. I have them. I'm the Paradise Shop Cat and I am beautiful. I said it before and I'll say it again. She's so cute, she's very soft. They're all well cared for, but I had a few I needed to say bye to. My Coraline cat, the Paradise Cat, being two of them. There's another killer. 
Oh wait, is this paradise? No, this is parrots. I'm the parrots shop cat. Uh -huh. Not paradise. Paradise says killer. Parrots says. They told me her name once, but I forgot. This beautiful small specimen. I think her name was in Spanish. <laughs> and it was nice to meet you. I don't remember your name, but I was told once. But you're very sweet and very pretty. I ate at Mario's a few times down there. It's pretty affordable. They're pretty affordable. And we got pupusas here. She'll set up right there. And my Coraline cat lives right there. And the parrot's cat was over there. And yeah, I'll carry on. And that's where I got gelato a few times. And also where Riley and I got gelato maybe once or twice. Most of our shopping we did here at Bushes. Got my snorkel from over here across the street. Frank, if you're watching, Riley wanted to go in here and get you something. And that's a gift store, but they were closed every single time we went by. So everywhere is closed and it's quiet, so I don't mind. But there's Mama Rose's. And right next door back there is La Casita. Riley likes La Casita more. I like Mama Rose's more. Bushes does a lot. They've got the grocery store. Upstairs is a gym and they do apartments down there maybe. And down there they have a tourism center, so they, they've got a nice little complex. Got fried chicken there maybe once or twice. That's what I've been keeping my dog treat containers in. Pretty, pretty, pretty beat up by now. I'll show you. There be the scooter. I have the broken off mirror from right there. Still in the room. I can show you that too. Thoroughly enjoyed running these over with the scooter. I'm gonna throw it at the ground. I think that's Alcoholics Anonymous. I noticed that on a drive. But that's where all those pink blossoms were. Now it just looks like a normal tree. That pole is where I crashed. Right across the Mango Inn, which is in direct relation with UDC. That's almost where everybody that goes to UDC stays, so. How immature am I on a scale of one to find a rotten fruit on the side of the road? I'll do it again. I'm good. I didn't realize that the Circle K is also owned by Bushes. This is where I get that ice cream. It tastes like it's from Rita Cart. Here's the gardens. Home for two months. Nice little place. It's got a sweet little cat. The goodbye with Gardenia was the hardest. She's awesome. I couldn't forget about you, dear. You are my favorite. Been through a lot, huh, baby? Oh, I'm gonna miss you. Thank you for being my little companion. Thank you for being my little companion. <laughs> You're so good. You're so good. You are. You're Gardenia. You're Gardenia. <laughs> yeah, that's you. I'm gonna get lots of love and care, even once you guys go. <laughs> I'm everybody's cat here. Right, many people care for you. People that come and go, she's the best. She's so good. She'll be here, downstairs, if you ever stay at the gardens. St. Juan takes care of me, the cleaners take care of me, the neighbor downstairs. She likes you a lot. I'm gonna try and leave some treats with her, okay? For you, okay? <laughs> she likes you a lot. That's her bike. She's doing her dive master, so she should be here for a few more weeks, okay? I caught the neighbor just as she was heading out on her bike to UDC. I gave her the note I had written with some treats. I took the comb that was now Gardenia's and I shoved it in her door before we left. About to pack it all up. Thanks, Riley, for the mask case for my breakable stuff. Hopefully I'll get it all wrapped. This is the mirror I was talking about from the scooter that I crashed twice. Yeah, one that I broke off. And this is what I've been keeping the treats in because this container is just completely, the lid's totally busted. Yeah, it's been a very useful little container and I'm still using it. Just pop that lid on and slide it in there like so. Here's all the breakable good shit. I'm gonna do my best to wrap it and put it in there. Time to board the Utila Dream Ferry. Two months went by so fast, and this island that we called home was absolutely wonderful. We're headed to Roatan now.
That's the lighthouse. I had the final day of my Molchanov freediving course there. We went by the Kilam Casita, which is where I did all of my snorkeling in the mornings. And last but not least, a UDC dive boat. It won't be the last time we see one of those.